I I feel Sushant uh, is an idea that will live on forever. A lot of people didn't understand him and uh, what he stood for, what he spoke about. I always believe that he did not fit in. He was on a different planet. Wanted. The fact that every day that I stayed with him, I spent with him, I relive it every day. And on my social media, whenever I see whatever is there on Instagram, because he's all over, I just miss him so much every day. He's told me at times that. Uh, I have had 17 scripts where there are two heroines and one hero. It's total commercial. I have not done it because he did not believe in it. I mean, first of all, that takes a lot of guts to do yeah. that, being in this industry. But he is Sushant Singh Rajput. He can do anything. But he had moved on in his life. He had different set of people that he was staying with. But when this message came, I I remember having a conversation with Kushal uh, regarding the fact that I feel there might be something off. I don't know what's happening because this is not. him entirely uh, so when i knew sushant singh rajput i always knew him as a man who had dared to dream big uh that back then i didn't know uh, siddharth gupta mat but i had heard of him i got to know him during the lockdown and i feel that and i i genuinely believe that he reminds me a lot of sushant uh with the thought processes and the ideologies that he has in life uh so joining us for a conversation is uh, siddharth and uh, who better than you to talk about the legacy that uh, sushant has left behind the I idea think, of sushant yeah the idea of sushant nobody can speak about it better than you first of all thanks uh, for giving me the opportunity to speak about him uh so yeah i had been a little apprehensive to come out and talk about him even right now i don't know i'm not very sure but i rather, i would definitely want to uh want people to know a lot about him and how he was because i was lucky enough to be in that close proximity with yeah. him yeah and uh, i i feel sushant uh, is an idea that will live on forever and uh, he uh, obviously a lot of people didn't understand him and uh, what he stood for what he spoke about uh the love that he gave people it is at times so overwhelming that you doubt it in the sense is it real like seriously because you know that you are nobody that could be of help to him yet not expecting anything in return he is so selflessly giving you so much of love that that you you in fact take time to absorb it he doesn't take time to give more you know what i mean um and with love i mean everything that he had selflessly to share his information his knowledge about things with you materialistic things immaterialistic things things that will stay on forever the idea that he had i always believe that he did not fit in he was on a different planet he never planet. wanted to also he never wanted to also he always said that i want something completely fresh um recently i shared one of his quotes on my instagram story where he said i prefer a massive failure instead of mediocre success uh today what i am and what i want uh to continue as a thought process something that i have absorbed from him obviously a little bit of myself what i believe in but a lot of what he was and the impact he had on me and that is what i have in me to be present here to have the consciousness to know you to understand you uh he always believed and he taught me that idea of consciousness like we need to be grateful for it he also used to say when you define yourself you become limitless right you have defined yourself we are just a product of consciousness and now now you're limitless because you can do anything in your life the fact that every day that i stayed with him i spent with him i relive it every day and on my social media whenever i see whatever is there on instagram because he's all over i just miss him so much every day but yeah. then obviously i saw your post yesterday yeah <clears throat> yesterday night i was i think it was uh, i was just going day. through that one of those phases okay. where i just felt it was such a loss he also taught me that aim at something which is new something fresh that's why i take a lot of risks in my life today because i'm fearless what is the worst that can happen you know what i mean that's the ideology that he had and uh that's that's too much of love that he's given it to me and then the fact that he gave me so much of importance in his life um it was just a dream come true to spend every day that i spent with him at that point of time You know, when you look back at the legacy that he's created in terms of the films and, and the career that he's had, yeah, yeah. It, 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 not many people can be a Sushant Singh Rajput. Uh, not at all. Whether it's in terms of uh, the acting prowess or yeah. uh, the stability that he had 
uh, on over box office you know he had delivered such massive success such massive um i just want to know that you know how did he somehow deal with the highs and lows in his life because you stayed with him for so long how did he do you know him better as a person than anybody else you know today ha <sighs> Oh god he was, he was he was so paradoxical he was so paradoxical there could be a time where his film is done great and he would be in a low mood and there's a time where the film's not done commercially great he'll be partying with us so uh i mean uh, that uh, it's it's like a it's like a maze that you have to uh, explore what he was actually thinking at that time but the conversations that i had with him on a very personal basis and where we would uh or uh, open up to each other i understood that uh, he was very unfazed by a lot of materialistic and uh, materialistic things he wanted to be very much artistically inclined so even if you see his filmography uh, his decisions are uh, very off the chart like he would like he's told me at times that uh, i have had 17 scripts where there are two heroines and one hero it's total commercial I have not done it because he did not believe in it <laughs> I mean first of all that takes a lot of guts to do yeah. that being in this industry but he is Sushant Singh Rajput he can do anything you know he could do anything and he was still in demand and he had his own legacy i i don't think anybody anybody wanted to mess around with his kind of stuff that he was doing and he was doing all kinds of risky stuff i have been through one of the toughest times in my life uh, emotionally and i know that um one of the few people from the industry who stood by me at that time was him and his loss is a personal loss and that i can't define in, in any way possible <clears throat> um when you spend those days with him what has been your fondest memory what do you think that he really wanted to be remembered as he i think he just wanted to be lost uh he wanted to optimize his consciousness he wanted to emphasize on the nuances of life it's it's pretty much biomimicking him uh because i stayed for so long with him that uh i clearly have the after taste of his existence in my life yeah. and it's more than a half a taste it's like a whole bunch right now within me and uh i am an engineer he's an engineer he dropped out but i completed my engineering he was uh interested in science i am interested in science we both loved sports we both loved documentaries a lot of things we had in common even i struggled at times <laughs> a lot of times to understand what he was trying to say but more often than not i understood what he said and that's how i value his intelligence way more than other people who would be yes man around him yeah he taught people how to dream and achieve their dreams how he did it we had a team pro team which uh, was there um I was not a part of the team initially but then like he just asked me to stay and hang around and live and learn or whatever I was going through my own phase where he helped me out like he helped you out uh and uh then I started enjoying what they were doing with the pro team so I became a part of the pro team and uh then he was like the pro team was there to help him achieve his dreams and he was there to help them achieve their respective yeah. dreams I think personally I feel he want to be remembered as an idea that i did and i did it my way yeah and i did it my way and you should also and anything is possible right like i he wanted to represent an idea that anything is possible he was an idea he is an idea that anything is possible his journey is that and uh, his ideas i uh, i hope what i'm setting my goals at and i get that and i become that i am going to carry it forward for sure kushal regret that one text that he got on mine where uh, sushant sent love to him and you and said that he would like to meet you guys um you know if when i read it it chokes me uh, and i know what you both must have gone through i'm so gutted uh, because see i always followed what he was doing right but he had moved on in his life he had different set of people that he was staying with But when this message came, I I remember having a conversation with Kushal uh, regarding the fact that I feel there might be something off. I don't know what's happening because this is not him entirely being so out there. Uh, but then Kushal did message him, let's catch up soon because they had a conversation sorts that let's do the things that we are doing again. So my aim majorly was 
to not be too intruding into his life that is what i wanted to maintain that respect him give him his own space yeah but i was expecting because of that text that i'm going to meet him very soon so i will get to know what's happening because i did uh, sense something uh, but obviously uh, the fact that i did not have his number kushal recently got his number we didn't know he, where he was putting up at that point of time true not in a million years we would have thought anything uh, could go wrong you can't change things bro it's butterfly effect it had to whatever happened you obviously are gutted that you could have done something different and uh, uh maybe it would be different which i definitely believe if i was there would be very different yeah. because he was the happiest with us i that's my personal opinion we had so many dreams even when um, i left his house uh, he had told me that we'll meet at the top uh, this was very difficult to deal with uh, for a few months but then uh, one thing which i picked up staying with sushant at that time was uh, uh read a lot of books so i read a lot of things in between in lockdown i am out of it and uh, there is a reason for it which makes a lot of sense to me right now mm-hmm. otherwise you obviously question everything he was he was from another world anyway his thoughts were not that uh, people could understand him that easy but it's just that he's an inspiration in the sense that he wrote it and he got it one person i knew who could do anything in life that was him and that gives me the confidence that i can also do anything in life and also he gave me so much of confidence you know when i had almost given up in the sense of like i don't know where i'm going with my life that person giving you that confidence means a lot yeah. and in fact this vast thing also happened right after that sure that you know even in this conversation he must be listening from somewhere dancing and doing his moonwalk somewhere but i just hate him for leaving us uh, so soon and i will always hate him for that i know i know how close you were to him i remember i knew you've been always there for him and thanks a lot for that bro i mean i i'm sure he he loved you dearly he's been there for me more than i i could have been there for him for sure Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, there were a few incidences that happened between where I know you helped him out while I was there. You remember that? Yeah. So yeah, that means a lot. Yeah, and wherever he is, I'm sure he looks down. And obviously, there are a lot of things that must be troubling him also. Ah, but I'm sure uh, there are things he would smile at. Yeah, but I just hope that uh, you know. I believe, actually, not hope. I believe that uh, he will live. Uh, to people like you kushal and everybody uh, who is going to carry his legacy you forward. as well yeah. thanks for having me <laughs> it was <laughs> it was a good good chat <laughs>